Hello everyone and welcome today to School for the Fool. Today in class, it is all about what we're here to do, what we're here to accomplish. It's one love. As a twin flame, you are here to connect through your awakening and you realize that more than one perception can exist at the same time. You step into the multi-dimensionalness of the universe. You understand that people are around you are just having an experience and they are sick. They are caught in ego. You are shown a different path. You are shown a different way. You are shown the unity consciousness so we can heal, so we can harmonize by transmuting. And this happens through us. All this is happening through us. If you were on this path and you were doing the work and not slipping into your old patterns of ego, we build new patterns. So you see your old patterns, you build your new, your new patterns. And as you do that, we start to rebuild. We start to rebuild around us because what is happening within us comes out and through us and our experiences directly are our teachers and our connection with source when we learn how to slow down and reconnect with nature. Now meditation also it, you can do it with exercise, um, music, cleaning your house, whatever way you can shift your focus and just let your mind wander and connect. But with nature, reconnecting with nature is just extremely important if you want to start making the shift. And that's what this is about. We are here to shift. We're here to become creators again. We have been consumers. And now we are going to be leaders. We are going to be leaders in facing our darkness. We're going to be leaders with facing what's going on here within ourselves first. And then we're going to spark our flame, our light. Our light is going to lead the way for others to start creating again, to start embracing their uniqueness. And it all starts by embracing your uniqueness. But it seems there's a pattern of what we are born into. Um, as twin flames on this path and there are templates that we are shifting and breaking away from and we can look at those we're gonna look at those today but the thing we have to remember is we're not gonna go extremely deep into them but it's a quality it's about a quality like a quality for the sexes you know the masculine energy grows feminine energy and the female energy grows masculine energy the yin and yang and then we we have a quality, we have a quality for the earth, you know, um, because we've expanded our awareness, we have a connection, we, we have love, a love for the earth, for the planet, for life. So we are really here to restore balance and be alive and create, show people how to be alive and create. Now, Let's just look at some of these templates. Now, what are some of these templates we're gonna shift? Sex. Loving someone of the same sex. Race. Loving someone of a different race. Changing our beliefs. What we've been taught. What our families believe, right? Religion. Loving someone unconditionally of a different religion. Not having your families maybe be in support of that. You yourself not being able to understand what this is going to look like. But we're going to heal through that. We are going to change the templates now. Codependency. Codependent relationships where you cannot live without the other person. Right? Relationships that are full of toxicity ego speaking of ego we got the monetary system many 
twin flames. You have one that has a lot of money, is with a karmic partner, cannot leave the karmic partner because they don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose everything. But they realize, are they gonna live for money? Are they gonna live for love? Now it doesn't mean they don't love their karmic partner, please do not, I'm not speaking for that. Every situation is different, everything is different, okay? This is all about unconditional love. But it's about breaking and shifting through templates to create new, to heal, to evolve. You know, and even not using our children on the battlefield, recognizing that our children need to be happy, we need to be happy, we all raise the vibration of everyone collectively and alchemizing that, and what does that look like? It's not perfect, no, but it's harmonization. Now a lot, many people have been bringing up the question is, is age a template? Because, you know, you have um, one flame that's 60 and another flame that's 35. So that has been a question. And saying that, we are all going to need different things. Everyone's journey is going to be unique. So let's show kindness. Let's show compassion. Let's step back and not judge. Let's shift and move forward. Alrighty, so how are we going to do this? Connecting to the one love consciousness. How do we achieve this? We start by healing our inner child. We've lost the childlike wonder to create with. We need that to create with the, we need to remember that vibration. So we're gonna go in the darkness, in the darkness within. And we tell our truths. And in telling our truths, we reclaim pieces of higher self and we restore ourself. Now we have all these vibrations to manifest with. We're growing. And that's really with letting the feminine energy lead the way and then learning to apply the masculine energy to have the growth. The creation of the feminine in the void, in the darkness, with reclaiming higher self by healing your inner child. And then you apply Masculine energy, sun energy, higher self, source, restored, and you vibrate and you manifest and you create, which is what you came here to do. Self-love equals acceptance, equals tolerance, equals connection, equals unity love, equals oneness equals purpose and mission now why is this important this is important because we're going to evolve humanity now we're going to leave our reptilian brains behind we're going to shift out of that we're going to balance the yin and yang energies we discussed how we're going to let the feminine lead the way and we're going to use the masculine energy to grow, all right? And through this connection, we are going to end cruelty to lift us into equality and love. Equality and love. We're gonna heal ourselves, the community, the earth, restore life. Restore life back to the planet because everything is dying. What else are we going to do? The renewal of life and life force energy. And that's really, this connection is so important because we get to reclaim our sexual energy back. We get to restore it. Because right now the sexual energy is distorted so we cannot manifest with it. But we get to step into our God and Goddess energies and use our powers to create through this experience. 
we get to create a better tomorrow. That's what we're going to shift into. We're going to shift. Let's create something beautiful and magical and spectacular. And please feel free, if you want to be part of the conversation, email me your template and we'll discuss it. We can talk about this more uh, down the road. But on that note, let's head on over to my desk and do a reading all about this topic. All right, now here we are at the reading. Let's see what is happening with Twin Flame Energy. The Twin Flames that I'm connecting with. Yes. Everyone is going to be activating within their own divine time. Huh. Temperance. That is tempering ego right there with help from above. That's healing. And right there, I'm going to tell you, I see a message. We got the divine feminine is water, represented by water, and divine masculine fire. This angel has water in one hand, pouring out, and fire lit in the other. So there, right there, I see the alchemy of the divine feminine and the divine masculine, right there. with help from the angels. And I love how the angel is wrapped up in gold. That divine gold light. The golden light, the light of the sun, the sun energy. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Page of Coins. The Page of Coins is somebody who is beginning a spiritual quest. They are learning how to manifest. They are learning about grounding, grounding themselves, and actually what it really looks like time spent. It is impulse control impulse control at its best it is recognizing that we do not get what we want overnight instantly that is the old template that is the devil energies that is instant satisfaction instant high it does not fill your cup what fills your cup it's cultivated it takes time it's time spent time cultivated manifesting your dreams and it's it's really like I said the page of coins is on a spiritual quest one second here I need to go out to fix my light it's blinding me okay Death. So we have death and transformation right there. Card on the floor. Six of cups. Hello. That is restoring balance from your past. A love that was written in the stars always meant to be and a love, an innocent love, a pure love, a love of pure intentions. That makes you feel like a kid again, like a child again, creating it, it in the childlike wonder. It's it's having the childlike wonder. And the ten of cups, the ten of cups, that is everything. Hold on one second, please, you guys. My son, it's he's making way too much noise. Hold on a second, please. One minute. 
I apologize about that. He is uh, learning about um, tone and uh, the height in his voice right now. He's learning about those things. So he can temper himself. So he's a little bit farther ahead of the game. Now, Ten of Cups. I want you to see it in this card. I want you to see. Look at the hearth. Look at that fire. The fire's lit. The fire's now lit in the home. Passion is there. Passion is restored. The home is about the heart. And that's symbolized by the hearth there. That beautiful fire that is lit. And the cat and the dog. Now the cat and the dog, they're opposites. Which is what a twin flames are. They're opposites. It's the fire and water. But when they combine the alchemy of that, okay? The alchemy of that, of the fire and the water. And how they combine, how they combine to trans, they're like transformers to create something completely new. So you as a twin, as you're, you do your part, you become whole, you balance your male and female energies within, you evolve, you restore yourself by getting your pieces of higher self. Your divine counterpart does the same. And this is the coming together of that and the beautiful, happy home that is created. And for everyone's path, I know this is all going to be different because we are all going to activate in our own times, in our divine timing. We are all on our own unique paths and journeys. I mean, we've got, we've got the ace right here, the ace of pentacles. And all from the high priestess here, it's doing the work in the dark. Shifting the templates, the knowledge gained, right? And you can see where they have to shift. When you are doing the work, you're going to be able to begin to see where the templates have to shift, where you're going to create something new from something old. And we take what's working, the, the stable parts of it, and then we create something completely new. And that's where the death and transformation comes in. This is a death of old self and a birth of new. A death of an old template, a birth of a new. It's the shift. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be pretty. A butterfly, that's metamorphosis when it goes from the caterpillar to the cocoon. What's happening in there? But that's the transformation. That's where the transformation happens, and especially if this is where you want to be going. And we do have help. Help is there. Now, let's go a little bit deeper into the reading and clarify. These are some beautiful energies. It's all about becoming into alignment, right? Okay. We have got the tower. And with the tower, we have adjustment. And this is um, justice. It's the card of Libra, right? There's the scales and there is the sword in between. Okay, so we have the tower and adjustment. And that is where we're beginning. The tower comes in, the tower knocks out what's not serving us, takes out what's not serving us from that old template. Then here we go. We got adjustment coming in. We have the scales, right? 
we take what we learn from the darkness, we balance out our karmic scales, we cleanse our karma, we take what we've learned, and then we cut it. We take that sword, we cut it. We give ourselves justice, or we get justice from the outside world. Whichever way that looks, this is removing of what's not serving you and cleansing your karma, balancing of the karmic scales to have a birth of something new, to have a resurrection. And I mean, in many decks, you'll see the feather and the heart on the scales and they weigh exactly the same. Follow the synchronicities and follow your heart. Clarifying the page of coins. The eight of cups. So the, this person on a spiritual quest, they are leaving behind what does not serve them they are not letting the darkness lead them anymore. They are, or their ego, they are following what lights them up and they are going to go and follow that, fill up their cup. And the Eight of Cups really symbolizes on the twin flame path. There's two cups. There's your cup, right? Two cups missing from the 10 cups. There's your cup, whoops, and your divine counterpart's cup and you go on a spiritual quest as this is a, the page of coins is the card of a spiritual quest and they go on their spiritual quest, right? And the 10 of cups is where you meet back. But you've got to walk away from what is no, no longer serving you. You've got to walk away from the old template and shift if you want union. Clarifying death, there it is. Ten of cups. Now it is here twice. It's here, look guys. That's what the transformation is about. Sorry, the nine of cups. I get got ahead of myself because that's about happiness. So the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. We've got the nine of cups, the transformation. Okay, so now we've got the ninth cup. We transformed. So this is what I was just talking about right now. You go and you walk away from what's not serving you. You follow the light, start filling up your cup as you reclaim pieces of higher self. Now, that is the ninth cup. That is happiness. And your divine counterpart is on their path, on their spiritual quest, doing the same. Please remember, they are doing it in their divine timing, on their path, not on yours. Your quest is your quest, their quest is their quest. It's in their timing. You keep filling your cup. Keep creating your happiness. I love the lotus flowers there, guys. Let's clarify the six of cups. Remember that that uh, tenth cup. I love the Ace of Cups, right? The the all encompassing love from Spirit. And there we go. Clarifying the Six of Cups. The Chariot. That is it. That is the unity within the balance of Yin and Yang, dark and light, the integration of higher self. And now the will to move forward, the path that was created that was not there until you mastered yourself, until you balanced yourself, until you learned how to balance back and forth between the yin and the yang, the dark and the light, right? The chariot is a victory. The chariot is a victory of self, okay? And then the energy at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. And we're going to read that. 
we're gonna read this card because it says strength okay and I think I really believe there's a message in here that we need to hear so this the whole energy we got the ten of cups and strength and I love how there's arrows here and then the one wand so we have the eight wands as arrows and the one wand it's lit with the Sun and the moon the Sun and the moon everything we were just talking about once again this reading all is connected everything is nicely connected in it this reading is on point And then we got the Empress, the birth, the birth of your new life, the birth of your new template. But let's read strength. Strength, power, health, success after conflict, tremendous force, recovery, victory follows fear, Tra change brings stability. Change brings stability. It's all here. This reading is all here. Now, let's see what's being activated within these energies. I'm gonna use the Star Man Tarot. Hello. Oh my God, you guys. The Ace of Cups, and there it is. There is the Tenth Cup. There it is. There is the Lotus Flower. Hello. Hello. Like, OMG. There it is. Now we have the Tenth Cup, and that is what's being activated within these energies. And this card, like we have got, the lotus flower that blossoms in the darkness through the purification there through the purification through the darkness okay we've got the chalice it's got a reptilian eye on it we have serpents coming out of this cup right and then we have megatron's cube and megatron's megatron's cube and that is the sacred geometry that we are creating. And I will be doing um, episodes of sacred geometry on this channel in the future. That's something I want to get into. We'll go one step at a time though. But that is Megatron's cube. And that is this. This is it. Template building at its best. I overflow with the essence of life. The great joyful climax of celebration pours from the cup after a sacrifice of time, energy, and comfort. It can be the union with self or another. The graceful sense of accomplishment and fullness after a long journey. Every drop of vitality has been used to reach this point. In the Ace of Cups, artwork as beautifully crafted cup or chalice of gold and silver is present. It overflows with life, giving waters gathered from clouds, ravishing and pure. The abundance of life-sustaining water heralds new life, cracks open the scorched clay earth below to revel the hidden jewel, which lies beneath. Golden roots are nourished growing and anchoring, seeking new intelligent pathways. They send the twisted vine bursting into the sky and to freedom. A lotus flower, sensual and exquisite, innocently blossoms in the foreground. It symbolizes the purity we reach. It symbolizes the purity we reach when we overcome the muddy waters of attachment and desire. 
This card carries the energy of the one who sacrifices for the love of another. The love which traverses, traverses harsh conditions and triumphs even when it seems there is nothing left to give. The power to grow and flourish is released. The sacred milk of life spills over in celebration. The tide comes in at last. The replenishing water returns and everything feels the surge of this peak experience. The ecstatic pulse of existence rises and sweeps away negativity, cleansing you in the past sacrifices and discomforts, renewing you. The Ace of Cups communicates the energy of regeneration. Barren items can now bear fruit. Ideas requiring a tremendous amount of hard work and sacrifice can now be realized. Consciously open yourself to receive this nourishing stream of calm flowing energy into your life and see it birth new life. The theme of regeneration is connected to the fountain of youth. The search for the spring which restores the youth of anyone who drinks its waters, thus becoming re-enchanted with life. For the fountain enlivens those with creative possibilities as life nourishes you, you so wish to give in return. Offer your brilliance to the altar of love, a deep loving and appreciation for the life you have been gifted. Allow the replenishing energy to wash over you. Abundance of growth, offer of creative brilliance and love. Guys, this is the it. This is the path. This is what you're walking away to do when you are filling up the, your cup. This is the twin flame journey. This is the twin flame path. Right here. When you are walking away from what does not serve you in your eight, in the eight of cups to you're now ninth cup. And with your ninth cup, you're happy. Okay? And when your divine counterpart fills up their cup and you come back together, for many of us, that is what we are trying to achieve. Now, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, because everyone's paths are going to be different. And unique, but this is it. What a gift, what a gift this reading is. Now, let's see what we're letting go and then we'll get an oracle to close out the reading because we have to let go when we're in the eight of cups on our spiritual quest so what are we letting go where do we start there it is <sighs> surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. We are going to start there. What else do you need to let go? Surrender to your intuition, tune into your inner voice, be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Well, that's how you're going to know where you're going on your path to, you really need to cultivate your intuition. It's, it's so important. Logic does not lead the way on the twin flame <laughs> journey. You need to apply logic, yes, during times, but you need to know when to switch back and forth between the energies. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in your relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Now, let's get an oracle. Close out the reading. There are two.
The Underworld and Jaguar. Oh, The Lower World. The Lower World and Jaguar. The Lower World, The Essence. The world, the lower world holds the hidden treasures of humanity. It is a place of rich and fruitful darkness where we can find the disowned parts of ourselves and the abandoned aspects of our psyches. The lower world is the place of our ancestors where we discover the gifts and lessons from the past. It is the realm of the collective unconscious here we can meet our demons and transform them into our pure energy, our source of personal power. The Invitation. It is time to unearth your hidden treasures. Do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you. Bring out the gems and precious stones that you have kept inside your heart, hidden even from yourself. It's time to honor your past and recast your life as a heroic quest, as a journey into the lower world. You will be offered all the gifts of your ancestors, their struggles, the way they hurt, the way they lived, and the way they died. It will all become blessings. The medicine. Are you one of those people who do not like to face the past? Now your past is calling to be acknowledged, to be heard and to be embraced. The only way to become unstuck is to honor everything that has transpired in your life. Reflect on the lessons learned and move on. If you bear witness to your past and learn its lessons, it will stop haunting you. As you embrace its gifts, you will recover a missing part of your soul. This is where we discuss. This is about reclaiming all the pieces of higher self to become whole. That is part of the path, right? And then you are illuminated within you're lit and it shines outward, okay? And really, we need to connect to our ancestors. We need to connect to the pain of the past because the twin flame, that's what breaking the templates, shifting the templates are all about. We are here to evolve. We have to heal our ancestral wounds. We have to heal them. This is a very big undertaking, undertaking, I get it, but we are here to evolve and heal. So we connect to what has been broken, hurt, caused pain or trauma from the past with our ancestors, with ourselves, with the planet. And then we do the work in between. We heal, we shift, we create, we purge in the darkness, we reclaim pieces of higher self. That's where how we grow, right? It's like you're the seed in the darkness that finds you know, higher self, sun energy, and then you grow, you shift, you do it in cycles. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's a process, right? That's why the page of coins, it's perfect. Like this reading is beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so perfect. Okay. It is a gift. Now, 28. Jaguar, the essence, is the protector of all life in the Amazon, and in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through the jungle, relishing, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. Jaguar knows the ways beyond death, and is the master of the shadows. Blending invisibly between light and dark and night and day. The invitation. Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She is delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown to venture into the mystery and the dark places you have been reluctant to explore. Toss all the caution to the wind. Know that your jaguar instinct will serve you well. 
What in your life needs to be released? The medicine. What have you carried around with you far too long, which is ready to be let go of once and for all? Jaguar medicine is available to heal the fear so you can allow it to go. It's time to come out of the shadows and end the shadow games that you may have unconsciously agreed to play. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover you and your natural instinct for the right people and situations. Drop the freaking mic. <laughs> Guys, this is it. This is template, template breaking. This is healing from your past. This is all the wishes you made in the dark on those stars. The universe is trying to gift it to you, baby. The universe is trying to answer. It's knock, knock, knocking. You gonna open up? You're going to open it up. You're going to let it in. You're going to let the light in. Face your fears. Face your darkness. Face these old templates, these codependent, toxic behaviors. Help heal our ancestral wounds. Help heal the planet. Make this world a place to want to shake your booty in and have a laugh. Have some freaking love. Have some good times. Let's do this, baby. It's go times. I am so blessed and so happy to be a twin flame. I love it. I love this reading. Thank you guys for joining me here. I'm ready to go shift. You take care. I will see you again in class very soon.